Welcome, welcome to your meditation practice. My name is Lore, if we haven't met yet, and I am delighted to be your guide today. So you can go ahead and find your comfortable position. You can be seated on a chair, on chair, even on your sofa, on your bed, or seated on your yoga mat, on your meditation pillow, or any other pillow that you may have at home. You can also practice lying down or reclining. Your practice calls for it today. Any position where you feel at ease and safe in your space. And you can keep your eyes open for now. A soft gaze, broad gaze, following the ridge of your nose to the floor, the table, whatever is in front of you. Contemplating your space without intently looking at any of it. And at any point in time during this practice, you can close your eyes if you feel that this is of service to you. And now check in with your shoulders. If you find your shoulders close to your ears, explore taking a few deep breaths to release your shoulders away from your ears and find that comfortable space between your ears and your shoulders check in with your jaws as well if you find your teeth clenched together Explore opening and closing your mouth, yawning, massaging your joints where your jaws connect to soften your muscles. Check in with your eyes. If you find any tension, any crinkling around your eyes or your forehead, Explore there again, loosening the muscles by massaging your skin with the fleshy part of your fingers. Gently going from the middle of your forehead or the space between your eyebrows towards your temples or your hairline where your head starts to rock. Take some time to explore those different options and techniques. See what fits your practice today. And in this meditation today, I am offering a loving kindness practice, which is known as Metta in Pali or Maitri in Sanskrit. This practice comes to us from the Theravadin Buddhist tradition, where it is one of the four Brahma Viharas, or virtues of the mind. The other three are compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. Loving kindness is the practice of benevolence, cultivating that inner and innate force that drives you to wish happiness happiness to others, to the world around you, but also to yourself. And there's nothing selfish about it. And there's also nothing easy about this practice. So if at any point you find yourself feeling uncomfortable, some physical discomfort, some strong emotions, disruptive thoughts, any resistance to the practice, give yourself permission to do what is of service to you. You can shift on your seat, change your posture, you can reopen your eyes, connect with your present environment by rubbing your hands together, you can take a few deep breaths, a sip of water, take a break or anything else that you may need in that moment. And so for now, gently guide your awareness to your heart center deep at the center of your chest cavity, just under your breastbone. 
And if it helps, you can feel your breath pass by that spot. You can visualize a pebble, a light, or any other symbol at that place. You can imagine a sense of warmth, a vibration deep inside your chest cavity. If you don't want to choose today, that's fine. Your breath is always a good anchor to turn to. So whichever works for you, rest your awareness at the center of your chest space of your heart, the seat of your inner wisdom, of your core humanity. For a few minutes now, four minutes, rest your awareness at your heart center, connected with your own benevolent, kind and loving heart. And I will check in with you in just a few moments. your mind wanders off it is normal as long as these distractions are un uncomfortable as long as they are not distressing gently acknowledge them and with kindness guide your awareness back to your heart gently keep reconnecting back to your heart your own benevolent loving heart you rest deeply connected to your heart i'd like to offer a quote to support our practice this quote is from rolf gates a former addictions counselor and u.s army airborne ranger he has practiced and taught meditation for more than 25 years and even founded several yoga and healing centers in the u.s in his book meditations on intention and being he gave us these words. It is breathtaking to realize that human anger amounts to anger at ourselves that we project onto the world and onto one another. That how we treat the earth is a reflection of how we treat our bodies. That how we treat one another is a reflection of how we treat ourselves. Unable to manage the experience of the self we have created, disturbed by what we have or have not done, we attack anything we see that reminds us of our own disowned shadow. Without this identification, there would be no hatred. Now, imagine the possibility of resolving our relationship to ourselves, a process that ends not in perfection, 
but in acknowledgement, acceptance, and understanding. Imagine if there were no one to hate. Take a few moments, let these words echo within you, however they resonate with you today. There is no right or wrong way to hear them. We are all welcome to this practice and all of our individual experiences are welcome. In the words of Rolf Gates, imagine the possibility of resolving our relationship to ourselves, a process that ends not in perfection, but in acknowledgement, acceptance, and understanding. Imagine if there were no one to hate. And now for a short moment, let your mind do what it wants to do. Let your mind be free. If it wants to think, let it think. If it wants to feel, let it feel. And if it wants to be still, let it be still. And then gently bring your awareness back to your environment. Become aware of the sounds around you, within your space, or farther away in the distance. See the light of your space. If you have your eyes closed, see the light come through your closed eyelids. Notice the pull of gravity anchoring you safely to your support. Notice the contact between you and your support. And before you move on to the next activity of your day, I would like to offer three mindful breaths to honor our practice together today, inspired by the words of Rolf Gates. When you're ready, exhale to the bottom, full breath in through your nose, exhale long and slow through your mouth, repeat to yourself, there is no one to hate. Deep breath in, exhale, there is no perfection to achieve. Full breath in, exhale, I can learn to love myself. Thank you. Thank you for your presence in this class today, for your willingness to practice loving kindness. And most of all, thank you for your commitment to yourself. May you always find your way to your heart.